Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. I'm Alos Diaz. In this video, we're going to tell you about the best kitchen shelters for 2021. Although many young campers may not agree with me, I suggest that a kitchen shelter is just as important, if not more important, than a sleeping tent. It provides shade from bright sunlight. It blocks UV radiation that can cause sunburn and skin cancer. It keeps you dry on wet, rainy days. And it prevents debris from falling from the trees into your food. If it has fabric sidewalls, it will make it easier to cook and relax on windy days and it will hold in heat on cold days. And if it has mesh sidewalls, it can keep flies, bees, mosquitoes, and other bugs out of your food and away from your body. So let me summarize important features to look for when buying a kitchen shelter and then tell you my pick of the top five kitchen shelters for 2021. I'll start this discussion by describing four common kitchen shelter designs. The first is a pop-up accordion roof style shelter. This shelter is very popular at festivals and art fairs because it usually has a waterproof roof and gives the maximum amount of working space for a small amount of ground space. But for some reason, it's rarely seen in campgrounds used as a kitchen shelter. Its primary limitations are it's heavier than other shelter designs and requires more packing space. A second common kitchen shelter design is an umbrella style screen tent. Its primary advantages are that it is relatively lightweight and frequently has a rectangular shaped floor that can be fit into small campsites more easily. But most of these screen tents do not have waterproof roofs and they have small roofs with sloped sidewalls that greatly reduce the amount of working space inside the shelter. A third type of kitchen shelter design is a hubbed sidewall pullout design. This shelter design is very easy to set up and has a large roof with vertical sidewalls that provide a maximum amount of usable space inside. But its roof typically is not waterproof its hexagonal shape requires more ground space than similar size shelters, and it requires more packing space. And the last type of kitchen shelter is a dome tent design. This shelter is the lightest and most packable of the kitchen shelter designs, but it provides the least amount of usable working space inside. When shopping for a kitchen shelter, I believe that a large roof is perhaps the most important feature to consider because it provides more shade, UV protection, and rain protection, and because it has vertical sidewalls that provide more usable workspace. To illustrate this point, consider these three shelters that are all 12 feet wide and 7 and a half feet high. Shelter A with a large roof and vertical sidewalls provides the most amount of usable working space inside, while Shelter C with a small roof has very sloped sides that provide a minimum amount of inside usable working space. And having vertical sidewalls allows you to put your camp stove right next to the shelter wall without worrying about burning the mesh or the fabric sidewall. The second most important feature to consider is a waterproof roof. This feature is very important if you live in the southeastern or eastern United States because it rains often. Here in Alabama, we get about an inch of rain every week. But most sun shelters and screen tents do not have waterproof roofs. 
Floor space is important because it tells you the amount of ground space that will be required to set the shelter up. And I believe most families should buy a shelter that has approximately 100 square feet of floor space. Smaller shelters will not provide enough room to prepare meals, cook them, eat them, and wash the dishes. While larger shelters will be difficult to fit into small campsites. Floor shape is another important factor to consider before buying a kitchen shelter. In particular, shelters with square or rectangular shaped floors will be easier to fit into small campsites and can provide more usable workspace than shelters with round, hexagonal, or pentagonal floor shapes. To illustrate this point, consider this diagram. A round shelter with a 10-foot diameter provides a floor area of 78.5 feet, but it occupies the same amount of ground space as a 10 by 10 foot square shelter that provides 100 square feet of working space. Waterproof sidewalls are important because they block the wind, they make the shelter more waterproof, and they can make the shelter much warmer in cool weather. Furthermore, your stove will cook more efficiently because the wind won't affect its flame. Setup procedure is important because most shelters require two people to set it up easily, but frequently people have to set a shelter up by themselves, and only a few can be easily set up by one person. And finally, weight and pack size may be important because many people may not be strong enough to lift and carry some of the heavier shelters, and many families may not have cars that are large enough to accommodate some of the larger shelters. Although screen tent makers emphasize the mesh sidewalls for keeping bugs out, I have learned from over 50 years of camping experience that mesh sidewalls are rarely needed. And when they were needed the most on hot summer days to keep the flies out of our food, they were unbearably hot. But if you frequently camp in an area that has a lot of biting flies, bees, or mosquitoes, you may want to add mesh sidewalls as an important feature. So let me present my list of the five best kitchen shelters for 2021. My first choice would be this quick tent, privacy, easy pop-up canopy. This shelter has a large waterproof roof with removable vertical sidewalls. Furthermore, it has a square 10 foot by 10 foot floor, an economical price of $190, including its sidewalls and many good reviews. Its two primary limitations are it requires more packing space than other kitchen shelters and it weighs a hefty 40 pounds. The Euromax Easy Pop-Up Canopy is another accordion roof canopy that has many great reviews. Like the Quick Tent, it has a large waterproof roof and removable vertical sidewalls. It also cost $180 but it weighs a whopping 60 pounds. The Gazelle G6 is very easy to set up, has a large roof with vertical sidewalls and many positive reviews. But the roof is not waterproof. It has an inefficient hexagonal shape. It has a screen which holds in heat and it is expensive. The tent by itself is $230 plus $90 more for six sidewalls. The Clam Escape is the most popular of all the five shelters listed here. Like the Gazelle, it has a hubbed sidewall pullout design that is extremely easy for one person to set up. But the roof is not waterproof and the tent plus six sidewalls cost almost $400. The Eureka No Bug Zone 3-in-1 is an umbrella screen tent that has a waterproof roof, a rectangular floor that fits into small campsites, two large doors and removable netting, 
and an easy to pack 17 pounds. But it has sloped sidewalls that reduces inside working space. And the tent plus its wind panels cost almost $400. After you buy the kitchen tent and its sidewall panels, you'll still need to add a few more things to make it as comfortable as possible. First of all, you'll need to buy some good quality stakes because the stakes that come with most shelters cannot be driven into rocky soil. And you'll need to stake it down every time you set it up because the shelter can be easily damaged by gusty winds. You'll need to buy some lightweight folding tables and folding chairs and arrange them around the outside edge of the shelter so that you have plenty of room to prepare your food, cook your meals, and eat your meals. Whether your shelter has a screen sidewall or not, you'll need to be sure to have plenty of insect repellent and candles handy in case they get inside. You'll need to add some good light so that you can work and relax in your shelter after dark. You'll need a fan on hot days to keep your shelter comfortable and to keep the flies and other bugs away. And you'll need a small space heater on cold days so that you can turn your kitchen shelter into a nice, cozy, warm respite from the winter air. Well, we hope that you've learned something of value about kitchen shelters from this little video. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping. For more information about kitchen shelters and other family camping equipment, please go to my website, moderntentcamping.com. A link is provided in the description below. Also, read my book, Basic Tent Camping, and visit my Facebook page, Modern Tent Camping. Thanks for watching.